Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Cards Craft Corner. Today I wanted to give you a very special Christmas episode, but I just don't feel very festive. If only I could change that. If only I had a magic wand that I could wave and all of a sudden it would be Christmas. What's this? A magic wand that I could just wave and it would make me feel more festive? Oh my gosh, it worked! Buy your own Christmas magic wand for only $12.99. Shop now at carplanky.com. Shipping and handling fees may apply. I feel more festive than I have in years! Now I do feel ready to jump into my very first festive episode of Cars Craft Corner. And on today's episode, we're going to be showing you some cool, crafty Christmas decor DIYs that you can try this holiday season to make your house feel very warm and Christmassy. The very first craft we're going to show you today are some signs. Yes, I love signs. I make them every day. It's just a fact of my life at this point, so enjoy. That's right. I am going back to where I began this modest YouTube channel and I'm going to make a reverse canvas Christmas sign. The very first thing we are going to do with this canvas is remove the canvas from the frame. I am going to do that with this staple remover. Just put it underneath the staple and then push up just like so. I also like to use these to remove the staple after it's been plucked out of the wood. Okay, once you have completely mangled your canvas, you can remove the wood. So the next step is going to be to cut these rough edges off and I use my, uh... what is this called? I'm just gonna eyeball it because I don't believe in science. And uh, I'm just gonna make sure to keep the rough shape of the frame, which is a rectangle. And there we have it. The only thing is when you're removing them from the front, you don't want to damage it too much because this is actually what is going to be seen by the people. So I'm just trying to be gentle when I go in with the staple remover. Nice and gentle. Like I said. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this little wormy of wood glue and I'm gonna fill these little gaps. I'm just sort of pushing it into the holes uh, and that's where it will go to dry live the rest of its days. Will I wait for my wood glue? No. Have I been calling it wood glue? It's wood filler, not wood glue. I feel like I've been calling it wood glue the whole time, haven't I? Yeah, wood glue. Put my wood glue away. This wood glue is hardening quite quickly. Put the wood glue first. This wood glue is quite old. And this wood glue is actually pretty good for just going where it's meant to be and staying here. So now that my reverse canvas is prepped and ready, I am going to move on to the next step, which is printing out my HTV. So I'll hop on over to my Cricut and I'll get that printed out immediately. Immediately. So I have three files ready to be printed out. Kind of hard to explain. <laughs> okay, ready to go. And start the weeding. There are quite a lot of ways you can make signs. I really, really like the HTV way. And just like that, that one is done. Releasing the Krakens. Ow, it really hurts. Those are way too tight. Well, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna head on down to the garage and get my pieces of wood sanded, and then I'll come right back up to apply everything. I'm back. 
again I'm back again so I finished weeding my HTV and I'm ready to press it but my frames are now ready I painted one gold and one is just stained and these are all heat transfer vinyl so they're going to be applied with heat I'm gonna be quick because my heat press is sucking out the power of my lights so I'm just gonna do this real quickly like it is my signs I hope you enjoyed that this feels very much like a Christmas special and I'm kind of digging it the second craft that I did this year is my mystical Christmas tree forest I made some things I just spent most of the day in the garage making they don't look like much but upon completion, they will be little trees. So I'm gonna paint these and then decorate them and make it like a little magical Christmas forest. And I did my sanding downstairs instead of in my bedroom, which was a welcome change. So a lot of these pieces I found in my stepdad's cutoff box. And I just took all the ones that I thought I could make trees out of and then sanded them down. These were cutoffs as well. I just glued them together. Yeah. So it doesn't take much. I have three different shades of green that I am going to use. I have hunter green, leaf green, and Christmas green. Let's get painting, 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 waiting for the paint to dry. I have this 3D fabric paint and then I also have a big bag of glitter. Just winging it. I'm just sort of like dotting it on. This one's gonna be an experiment. I'm gonna try and put some like white on the bottom so that it looks like it's decked. Decked? My trees are done. Well, they're not done, but they're almost done. And I have quite a few varieties. I have some glitters. So now I just have to glue the stumps and I'll be done. Oh my gosh, these are just precious. This one, I took some artistic liberties with. <laughs> Perfect. Oops. Okay, gluing the tree trunks. So that's how you make a magical, mystical forest. Definitely the most fun craft I did this week and something that I would definitely recommend if you're into that kind of thing. Which, if you're watching this video, you probably are. The third thing I did is this garland. It's just, well, you'll see. Next, I'm going to use some yarn. I'm gonna use some yarn and some felt, and I'm gonna make like a little whimsical garland. So I'm just gonna cut strips. So I'm just cutting quite poorly as usual. <laughs> this is gonna look hideous. And this might be a very short garland. 
Well, if you've seen my last video on felt, you'll know that I have a very difficult relationship with it. So maybe that's why I'm being so bad at this. I'm just like slightly traumatized. Done for that. I'm not doing that again. And now I'm gonna take my string and I'm going to just simply tie this around. Can it be that simple? Yes, it can. For once. The hardest part about this is actually cutting the felt. Yeah, that's the craft. See? Oh my. Okay, this looked really cute on Pinterest. I mean, if I worked really hard on it and made it super long, it might be kind of cool. You ask me why I made it? Because I felt like it. <laughs> Number four is my beautiful ornament wreath. And I will show you this wreath. Hopefully I can see it from the camera. Hang on. There it is. <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. We need a pencil. Pencil, a pencil, a pencil. And I got this basket for tracing purposes. So I'm gonna trace this basket twice and hopefully that's like a nice wreathy shape. And then I'm gonna take some of my ornaments and I'm gonna make a wreath. That is the plan. The plan is simple. The execution, we'll see. I'm gonna try and eyeball this the best I can. Oh boy, that's rough. I mean, as long as it's got like that ringy shape, I think it'll be fine. It's not a perfect circle, but it's uh, it is a circular shape, which honestly at this point is all I can ask. So now I'm gonna kind of fold it a bit to cut it. Learned that trick in public school. Gonna add not so great at cutting circles to my resume. It's good to recognize your weaknesses and it shows possible employers that you're willing to grow. So I brought up my big bag of ornaments. I have like a bunch of ugly pink and purple ones that I must've thought were cute at one point. Maybe I should use the ugly ones. I can use all of these ugly ones. Ugly ones. Maybe I should stop calling them ugly. It's probably hurting my feelings. I'm just gonna wing it, like always. So I think I'm gonna do two pinks, two pinks, two pinks, like sort of make a pattern, kinda. Okay, okay, we've got the vision. And now I can throw in a silver one here and there. Oh, my genius mind is just at work. Okay, going back to gluing and, and doing. You know, I'm not a perfect crafter. So if this doesn't work out, you know, let's not be surprised. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Great, great, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna look freaking hideous. <laughs> because how do you, oh! Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna start gluing these in because I'm running out of glue stick. Okay, this is fine. This is great. This is okay. Oh gosh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not going well. Like, how do you glue balls? How do you glue balls? This is my first and last wreath ever. Um, I'm struggling. <laughs> Quite a lot. It just looks not that great. But, I mean, it could be worse. It might look half decent when it's far away. Just don't get too close to it because then you'll be horrified beyond reason. It actually feels pretty sturdy. Oh, that's a pleasant surprise. Wow. <laughs> yep. Number five. It wasn't really a craft. It was just, it was this. This is not so much a craft as it is just a... Why am I doing that? I'm just gonna throw some 
bobbles in it. You really just toss them in there. And voila! <laughs> That's not a graph. Well, I gotta wrap up this video. Even if I wanted to keep filming, my schedule wouldn't allow it. I gotta wallow in self-pity, stare into the abyss, solve world hunger, tell no one, jazz or size, dinner with me, I can't cancel that again. And then I gotta wrestle with my own self-loathing. I'm booked. I guess if I, if I bumped the loathing to 9 p.m. tonight, I could finish up in time to lay in bed, stare at the ceiling, and slip away slowly into madness. But no, I must resist. I'm almost definitely gonna DIY a Grinch costume this year, so uh, stay tuned for that. Ring the bell if you wanna be the first one notified when that video inevitably shows up on the internet. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I try and put one new video out every week. Fingers crossed. I want to say thank you so much for everyone who's been showing me support and love so far on my YouTube journey. It has truly been a pleasure and I can't wait to swim the YouTube seas for many, many years to come. <sighs> I was gonna be like, I will ho 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 see you later. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> ho 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 see you later. <laughs> So I will see you guys again this time next week, but until then, always remember to be kind, stay curious, and get crafty. <laughs> Why do I want to say that? So oh, see you later. <laughs>